You guys! Everlasting summer! You know I couldn't just stay away with that last decision. I just gotta keep going. And after a lot of thinking, or more around like a few minutes of thinking, I think I'm gonna try and go with Lena. But anyway, hello everyone, my name is Sinistic, and Everlasting Summer has a hard choice for me. And it's pretty difficult because I feel like this is gonna be like the girl who I'm gonna end up getting the most points with. Because like right now, I know I have no points with Alyssa. And Ulyana got one point from that one scene, and Slavia got like one point as well. But Lena, Lena, we got a point with Lena. So, then again, did everyone get one point? I don't know. I'm gonna go with Lena. Anyway. I won't go there alone, will I? I'll go to Manipshiba dot for a moment. You made me right. We'll go. We'll all. <laughs> we'll go together tomorrow. For the last few minutes, I was noticing strange glances at Lena, as if she wanted to say something but didn't dare to. Wait, we didn't actually leave. Come on. So they forgot. Oh yeah, blah blah. blah. Screwless under explosion. Even the leader seemed to calm down and didn't react to the wanna beach terrorist with the left of the square hidden behind Oyana. <gasps> You know, what if this was simultane- <laughs> Excuse me. What if this was simultaneously planned by like Alyssa, Shurik, and Ulyana? Like what if they were all in on it and that's why they were off the hook? Yes. The night quickly fell on the camp. There was only a brief moment between the first- Oh, between the first rays of sun- set, Setting cut. Oh my gosh. There was only a brief moment between the first rays of setting sun to so complete darkness until here in the south or maybe in this world. You didn't have enough time to enjoy the variety of sunset colors. It was too early to go to bed, but the leader confidently walked to her cabin as if mentally dragging me with her. Well, I still think we should- well, actually no. I want to say go now, just so like we have more things that happen at night, but I guess it is safer to go tomorrow morning. I'll go to Manichiva. I'll have a little walk. Okay. She looked at me intently, but didn't find any reason to object. Shrugged her shoulder and kept walking. Where are we walking? Oh, we're walking back- Whoa! 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 We're walking back to the crime scene! I didn't really want to look closely at the little damage done to the Gedna statue. Who was, ex was the exact center of the camp? If you don't know where to go, you should start from way there. I sat on the bench and looked at the west. I wonder if Earth here revolves around the axis as it should. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Semyon, okay, okay. Let's just say, I don't think the Earth would change much. I mean, I, even though we are, like, back in a different time, I don't even think the Earth would be any different. In the sense that, like, it would change its gravitational pull. Or may there actually be a North or a South. It's hard to say. That time I didn't have any ideas how to check the fundamental laws of nature. Lena, hey! Hi. Lena appeared next to me as if out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, Lena. Please tell me you're not like a space-time traveler or anything. You're not like Hermione during the Harry Potter movie. Or no, 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 sorry, let me be more specific. Hermione during the third Harry Potter movie when she had her like her little time travel switch? I hope you're not that. Because, I mean, it wouldn't be bad if you are, just that I just, you know, would hope to be wrong. Hi, <laughs> cancel it. She looked at me in surprise. Well, yes, it is still early. Lena, what's wrong? May I, I sit? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Sit down. Yeah, Lena, sit next to me. Sit next to me, girl. I moved a little. That little was, in fact, an understatement. I actually sticked myself to the edge of the bench. Oh, did you move away from her? Come on, Semyon. Hey. Oh, thanks. Lena sat down with the sky, as if forgetting about me. It's... it is sad. What is sad? That Shurik disappeared. Yes, things are not too good. But... Not to be rude or anything, I don't know why you're so concerned about Shirik's disappearance. Or maybe perhaps it's just polite polite conversation. She was calm as usual, kept most kept silent most of the time. She blushed and felt embarrassed, only when she had to speak or do something. That very silence, which could be seen awkward by most people, including me, was quite natural for her, usual. I don't know. I have a feeling that Lena's more than what she say, like, the, more than what she is anymore. I could hardly imagine Lena making an effort to choose words somewhere deep inside herself to start a good conversation or to say a good remark, trying not to look stupid, and the contrary, not to look too rude as Alyssa. I wasn't able to compare. Oh, sorry. I wasn't able to compare her to anyone. She was just content with herself. Maybe it was her mysteriousness. She certainly didn't lack a attractive appearance or other woman charms. I didn't have an answer to that. That's why I still wasn't openly accusing her of knowing this. 
I'm sure he'll be found. How would you escape from a submarine? Lena seemed to not like the joke. I'm sorry. I won't make any gruesome jokes anymore, Lena. The camp must be a large. Oh, the camp must be a large submarine for me only. I hope so. Tomorrow I'll go to the miniature well, call the police. They will find him for sure. I wonder if Shurik's like disappearance is leading up to something. You know, like it's like the big climax of like something huge and whatnot to the game. And what if in the night? She got a sad expression. What could happen to him? Alone at night in the forest. Anything could happen. I mean, he could be a fairy. I still think she will she would be like a forest fairy or a forest spirit. He must be lonely. No one made him go there. True enough. Maybe Shurik just, you know, hates people. W what if he just got lost? He shouldn't walk in the forest alone. True. You don't have any pity for him at all. Shurik may be sitting there alone. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me I have a crush on him. No, no, no! Sinistic, stop it, stop it, stop it! Okay, I'm getting jealous of a guy that we don't even know where he is. But, you know, okay... I'll have pity for him that, you know, he will be sad and alone, but at the same time, we'll find him, so that's why I don't worry about thoughts like that. I do pity him, of course. I feel ashamed. In any case, Lana was right. A person was missing. Anything could happen during the night. We won't go search for him now, will we? She didn't reply, still looking somewhere far away, where the last rays of the sun shined over the tops of old trees, as if trying to leave a bit of warmth to its people. Do you really think that roaming the forest in the dark is a good idea? Probably not. Yeah, that's very- that's a terrible idea. For some reason, I was so sure that she thinks exactly that. Recently, I started to seem to understand Lena without any words more often. But she seemed to influence my- me, <laughs> She seemed to influence me psychologically, making me agree with her. Lena's silence is more informative than any chatter of persuasion. They- they have looked for him during the day already. Everywhere? Yes, Lena, everywhere. We can't find him. We literally cannot find him. The forest is the only option. She stopped watching the sunset and looked at me. I don't know. I think everywhere. I don't think Olga and Slavia would lie about how they looked everywhere. Because I'm pretty sure they, like, turned the camp upside down. What about the old camp? Well, that's- well, okay, that doesn't count because we don't- we haven't checked that place. For the first time, her words sounded sure not abstract or indifferent. Where is it? I have no idea. Electronic told us. Well then, trusting him. I grinned stupidly, but Lena kept looking at me seriously. Sure, it's not too far. Do, do you want to go? Of course I don't! We can, if it is there and back and quickly. I guess if we, we can go find something over there, you know. Okay. Lena, don't worry, I'll protect you. Lena smiled and gave me a flashlight, which appeared as if from nowhere. Girl, where do you hide your stuff? Yes, useful thing. Does it mean she has prepared it beforehand? Uh, and nothing was depending on me? Man, Lena's just at it. She's just a go-getter. I sighed as if doomed and headed for the forest with her. Blah blah blah. Oof, man. The night is giving me a creepy vibe. At the same time, this not the CG looks really nice. I like the blue, the blue area, which is everywhere. But like the blue trees look very nice. The night fell on the camp. We walked slowly. Lena was next to me, but uh, near but not too close. It was strange, but it looked like she wasn't afraid of anything. Moreover, she didn't care much about things happening, as if we weren't walking in the forest at night or watching a movie with other people that playing legal near walls. Actually, electronics at them. <sighs> Sorry, I keep rolling off my tongue. Oh my gosh, it is so weird. Actually, electronics said that the only camp, oh, the old camp, the old camp was not too far. If we walk straight to it, it might be hard to get lost. After a few minutes, I was completely unsure that we were walking straight. And after some more time, it started to seem that it would be a miracle we would get out of here. Well, at least we're together, right? That's good. But I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to lose space before Lena, so I tried to walk cheerfully. The forest was full of silent moving shadows and gleams of the moon. The grass quietly rustled under our feet, and the branches rustled over our heads. Old oaks stood next to their young bridges. Wow, so this is so descriptive for a forest. Large mushrooms emerged from under the ladder, as if saluted by their large hats. On any other day or any other time of day, it would look really beautiful. 
I trust you with that, Semyon. I trust you. Maybe safe at night too. But nevertheless, I shared that and guess the wind. Look! What? What? Let him point and I rubbed my eyes and saw a gap between the trees. Did we find it? Holy crap! Look how scary that old camp looks! Oh my god! Is this a horror story? The true noble happened here or something? In a minute, we were on a rather large clearing in the middle of its of the building, which looked like, looked like a village or a school kindergarten. Oops, I read that totally wrong. The paint was falling off the walls. There were several. Ah! Paint was falling off the walls. There were several holes in the roof. I uh, like after bombing, and glassless windows looked as looked at us sadly and a little threatening. It was not very pleasant sight. Dude, I would imagine. Look how scary this place is. I feel like, like, either Shunobu happened or Leatherface killed his family, and now they're in this house. Then again, wasn't he really close with his family? Or he killed people, is what I'm saying. I couldn't remember how I was imagining the place a moment ago. It was like all the images were erased from my memory, placed by this depressing graveyard view. Well, it is creepy. Lena was, Lena was standing silently, but the natural expression of fright appeared on her face. Oh, wow, I took me a minute to look at your face, but you look more happy than, you know, scared, Lena. D do you think he's in there? I have no idea. If I was Shurik, then a haunted house would be the last place I'd hide in. But we're not Shurik, and we probably don't know Shurik. Shall we go? I suppose. I didn't manage to answer. The moon appeared from behind the clouds and illuminated the clearing in new colors. Actually in one color. The gray-white. Oof. I, white is like one of my favorite colors, but I feel like that would not help for the situation. I could see more clearly the vista trees, the mist shrouding them. It felt like the temperature dropped down a few degrees, so I quickly got shivers. Are you afraid? I am not afraid of the dark, Lena! What would you think? Lena asked calmly. Honestly? She smiled unnoticeably and took my hand. It will cause a storm of emotions in other situations, but this time it felt like the usual necessity. We slowly watched the building. Thank you, Lena. Thank you. You know, I'm still not afraid, though. I'm still not afraid, though, but I would love to hold your hand. Oh god, what was that? Walking through the playground, I pushed the merry-go-round. It creaked nasally and made a half turn. Lena shivered and grasped my hand tighter. S sorry I probably just- I just remember my childhood. Might have been a lot less depressing than this, but you know, the, you know, sad things. Did you like the merry-go-rounds? Yes, actually, I don't know. Don't remember. Probably. All children like them, right? <laughs> Samyun? Are you telling me that you're having memory loss right now? Oh, whoa! I didn't like them. Why? Wow, that's a... I wouldn't expect that, Lena. Why? I get dizzy because of them. How so? No wonder if you spin too fast. I like swings more. Okay, true statement. I do think swings are better than merry-go-rounds. Swings are the bomb. Like, mm. For one example, like if you swing like really, really fast, you, if you got enough like um, altitude, then you would be able to do a cool jump and then lay on the ground, and it'd be super cool. You can just swing on the center gauge as well. But for what for? I don't know. Just suggesting. Gosh, that man, you're, you're not swinging your moves right now. The conversation had distracted me a little, and I stopped worrying about myself and everything. About Shurik, about our night trip, about Lena. After all, this world is not so alien. Finally, we had reached the doors. Oof, man. Jesus, where's, like... Where's Shinobu right now? The old camp reminded me of a kindergarten inside. The one I attended in childhood. Perhaps, hopefully, there isn't some, like, crazy plot twist where, like, we're actually in the future and not the past kind of thing. On the first sight, even the room arrangement was the same. Shurik! Shurik! Grave silence applied to us. Even the wind outside had calmed down. It looked like nobody's here. Well, we just yelled. We haven't actually looked around. Might as well do that first. You should check anyway. Yeah, Lena. Yeah, I agree with Lena. Lena's courage couldn't stop surprising me. Or should I say, the lack of usual instinct of self-preservation couldn't. I didn't know if this behavior was strange for a girl or not. No, Lena's just the bomb right now. Okay, let's do it. Let's not split up, though. I don't want to split up. 
We thoroughly examined all the rooms of the old camp. I even expected a garret. There were some signs that people visit the place everywhere. Newspapers, empty bottles, and other garbage. But there were no signs of Shurik. We returned to the hall where we had started our search. What should we do next? I have no idea. Lana sat on the steps and stared at her feet. If we looked everywhere, then we looked everywhere. The only thing I could think of was look around the old camp. But at the same time, I don't know if that would do anything. I guess we should probably just report back. I think we should just go back. I stared carefully. It is late, and two of us would just look for him in the whole forest? You may be right. I think we should just go. Lena, let's just go and not get in trouble. Not get in trouble, like, let's not get hurt. She looks sad in her expression, let me know that the search is not over yet. Oh, Lena, please. Well, I am. I wave my hands doomed and sat next to her. We should think about the worst outcome. D -d -d do you want to say? Come on, Semi. You don't just go up to someone and think that... Let's think of the worst outcome. That means we think he sh she thinks Shurik is dead. Come on, Semyon. No, but are there any wild animals around? I doubt it. Let him calm down at once. He may be sleeping somewhere. He'll wake up in the morning and return to camp. Well, Semyon, come on. You know we shouldn't go off on assumption. Yes, of course. I don't believe that for a second he'll come back to camp tomorrow. I jumped on my feet and started to walk in circles around the hall. I really wanted to leave this place. Get out of the forest. But Lena's behavior as if kept me here. I wanted to go on with persuasion, but then noticed something on the floor. Oh my god. There was a hatch. There were little heaps of garbage that and dust around it. What? Are there secret passages in the old camp? Must have been opened recently. <gasps> oh my god, Shurik! Look! You think Shurik is in there? Lena squatted and pulled the hatch the hatch's handle carefully. It may not be Shurik, but someone surely used it recently. I'd already regret about finding the damn gate to hell. Oh my gosh, I have a feeling that's gate to hell too. Let's check it out. Lena, your courage does not stop. You're like, <laughs> you surprised me, woman. The hatch wasn't very heavy, so you can open it without much effort. I directed the flashlight into it and saw a ladder. Go down a couple meters. Okay, Simon, let's be the man here and go in front. Looks like there's a cellar. Let's go down. I looked at Lena for a few moments, trying to understand what's on her mind. Did she, get, did she get a craving for adventures like Oyana? No, I don't think she's the type of person to do that. Though I do find it a little bit odd that she wants to go like straight into danger. But, I mean, fight or flight, if, even if it comes down to it, I'll be- let's just- I guess let's just go with what we have. So where is your youthful spirit then? Or she just went nuts a little bit. No, Lena's not nuts. Lena didn't resemble a crazy person. Anyway, who says she's really human? Who can evaluate her as a human behavior and logic? Okay, Semyon, so, I don't think that they're all aliens. I think let's just let's just all say that they're humans. The thought should have scared me, but somehow I didn't pay any attention amongst the million of other thoughts. Some of them were more important. For example, what could be down there? All right. Wow! Look how in depth this tunnel is. This was under our noses the whole time. I climbed down and looked around. Everything is okay. After I made sure there's nothing to be afraid of, I called Lena. We stood in the long corridor, which wasn't a cellar for sure. The architecture more resembled KGB dungeons or subway maintenance tunnels. I don't know what would be better. Probably subway maintenance tunnel ah, tunnels. There were countless wires along the wall. They were fastened by metal hooks at every half meter. There were lamps under the ceiling, crowded by rusty shades. Concrete cracked under our feet unpleasantly. Oof, let's not get caved in. Shall we go? Lena asked without any emotion. Where to? There? Yeah, are we going straight? Are we going back? Like, how is this gonna work? Well, yes. What if Shurik is there? What would he be doing here? Well, Semyon, stop arguing. Just, let's just look around. This is the lead. Whether we like it or not. In any case, I wasn't able to confuse her today. Sorry we forgot our fear and headed into the darkness. Come on. Let's just go. Lena walked next to me, holding my hand. The sounds of the judgments were interrupted by the only sound of our steps and dripping water from the ceiling. We moved forward slowly, maybe too slowly. I suddenly got a feeling of claustrophobia. I gritted, I gritted my teeth and squeezed the torchlight, but instead, the light, oh, but light in the grasp at one, fearing to break our own source of light. Lena kept it in her silence, and her silence seemed louder than any words. I started the fear. S say something. Door? What? Th there's a door! No way! 
No way, there's a door here?